What's up, Sushi Squad? We back again with some more trolls. And today we're going to be taking a look at the changes to the Tomb Razor because I've heard that he's pretty good now. Obviously, he's still got a little bit of a ways to go, but some players have been saying that he's getting very, very close to the Draco's level of power, which means that the Tomb Razor could actually be a viable threat for enemies, which is awesome. Uh, so just to give you guys a heads up, there's two major updates with the Tomb Raider. One was, of course, the Big Delves update in general. Uh, and then more recently, we just had another small patch. So I'll go through uh, both of these patch notes with you guys. I want to let you know that this is currently on the test server. It is subject to change before it goes to the live server. And no, we don't know when the Delves is coming out, okay? My best guess is one to three months from now uh they've honestly been patching the delves pretty much every day like if you go to the test server forums it's crazy the amount that they've been putting into this uh and i'm really really happy about it because they're slowly adding more and more and actually making it more worthwhile now let me give you guys a little bit of a history lesson uh, lesson here first because i know that quite a few of you are probably sitting there wondering well whatever happened to the tomb raiser and his changes in general so this is actually the first time that the new developers over from game ago have been adjusting a class that's right because when try and worlds was in charge of this game they were slowly adjusting the classes and stuff like that i don't know why they take so darn long seriously but needless to say when Tryon was in charge the next class that they were going to be working on is the tomb raiser so it's really nice to see that these new devs are starting to kind of pick up the torch uh and work on that because tomb raiser definitely needs some love as far as classes that need a rework we all know chloromancer is just a just bad like chloromancer needs a huge rework though otherwise a lot of the characters in the game in all honesty could just use some tweaks i'd like to see shadow hunter's damage increased a little bit so he can compete with the others and generally all they gotta do is just make all the characters viable because they really aren't for most of the end game and especially for later delves that said delves are slowly getting easier and easier that timer they introduced is not easier but anyways uh before we end up getting into today's video though i just want to let you guys know there is a sign up link down in the description so if you're new to trove you sign up with that then you buy anything out of the store i make a cut it's an awesome way that you can support me while you know while we're all playing apart kind of thing what is it like hashtag play together apart or some crap i don't know uh so anyways here's the first this is this has already been changed a little bit but the big tomb raiser changes are uh, that the tomb raiser's passive now summons a skeletal that's his little babies uh, and grants a restless soul with each tick so let's hop into a world because i don't know if it um don't know if it does that properly until we're out in an actual world right yeah Anyways, it's supposed to do some stuff. Uh, Skell Littles do not passively spawn in hub and club worlds. Yeah, there you go. So we get to see him right there. Um, the primary attack on Mouse 1 now has a wider hit radius. That more accurately matches the VFX. So he's actually got a little bit more crowd control. But most of all, he's got wider healing range. I mean, that's most of all what I use it for. Honestly speaking, guys, if I seem a little rusty, it's because I literally haven't played the Tomb Raider for like years. So... <laughs> i mean there's no reason to because he's not that good uh but thankfully they've been changing him a bit uh bone tirage which is your mouse too now just consumes all your souls instantaneously which is awesome uh summons a skell little for each soul consumed obviously and if six skell littles are already active extra souls uh, that's the things that's slowly whirling around our character um will cause the skell littles to take and deal extra damage i think they mean take less damage and deal extra damage but maybe it just makes them less defensive for the sake of offense which is weird uh banshee's boon which is your number one uh which pretty much makes you invincible uh so it costs 20 energy to use uh both with and without the class gem equipped uh has a 10 second cooldown clarified what the ability does after the gem is equipped uh, since it still activates ghost mode uh, and the class gem banshee will now last five seconds so if you have your class gem it summons this little freak pathetic he's already dead but he'll heal your little dudes like crazy and i mean we could already spam this ability again which is what makes this character so great because so long as you have the energy coming in i mean you can just 
have insane amounts of survivability, which was always present with the Tomb Raider, honestly. Uh, the Grave Goliath, which is our number two, our ultimate ability. So the base level Grave Goliath is now as strong as the Grave Goliath used to be. I think what they mean by that is he doesn't slowly scale. He just is like maximum all the time. Uh, so using the Grave Goliath ability now triggers off how many skeletals are possessed. That's kind of weird because we, we need to have like a lot of these guys boop, possess them. Then we summon our big boy and he's going to have uh, his stats a little bit higher based on like all of our little guys. But you can see he's kind of cute now. They made him a lot smaller, which I think is great. A little too many health bars still, but... Uh, using the ability no longer kills skeletals and instead removes their possessed state which i don't know ah there it is so you can see we got purple health bar on these guys that's that's the ones that are possessed right now so now i've got all of them possessed nice that they got a visual cue for that and so long as i keep summoning my little dude here we can keep these guys active and uh have a full abundance of them then we use our big chungus here and well there you go i guess he still does get big but it's only visually to reflect because he's gonna scale his damage off of that rather than consuming all of your little guys and my god he's got a lot more survivability doesn't he look at him he stays alive so freaking long man that's a really that's really good good god I love I love these changes because Tomb Raider to me always felt like he's supposed to be a minion controlling character But he just never really did that very well. You know what I mean? But now I mean this is awesome, dude He stayed alive for so long and by the time he's gone We can already just summon another one so you could pretty much just keep him up all the time. That's insane So anyways, let's take a look at the more recent patch because this is this is the real you know big big change that they ended up making because he's still you know after that update he's still not he's not as good as he could be right uh so they did a couple very small changes that are very very good so the skeletals that's the little skeleton guys their base damage has been multiplied by times three so they're considerably stronger now basic attacks uh base damage has been multiplied by three time 3.3 3 times uh so to be at the level of the ghost form uh, was at previously so I guess you would do more damage while you're in this ghost form and now uh, You are just doing that base amount of damage like this and then if you ghost form it up I guess we're doing more damage ghost form attack damage has been multiplied by 1.5 So Tomb Raider's base damage attack has also been multiplied and then the grave Goliath now slams much more often So every other attack he's going to end up doing his slam down which arguably is the biggest damage that you could get with the tomb raiser right so let's do a couple little experiments here uh obviously you know we're on the test server uh or not we're on the test server uh, obviously with this delves update we are on the test server shadow towers became a lot better and easier because we can just open this up and go straight to the boss let me make sure prowling shadow should i <clears throat> no uh where is I'm thinking, what are the new allies? I guess I'll have to swap to one of those light allies later. Let's see what happens if we use Chrono Cubesly. Like, I don't know what's going to happen with that. But let's open Ultra Spike Walker, just because. It's not going to be the best example, but let's try it out. Let's see what his damage is, and then we'll try and hop into some considerably stronger delves uh also i want to let you guys know that i swapped all my gems off of my draco so we can't test him out anymore in the higher tiers of delves but that's perfectly fine because i've been honestly just grinding the lower tiers uh so are my babies gonna start spawning in yeah there you are okay well this is probably gonna end up taking a little while i don't like how they keep reusing the flask consume animation like even when we have a soul around you he's just doing the pop in a flask drink animation right which is kind of lame because the knight has that as well when he pops his alt which gives him the barrier around him um you know invincibility essentially it also does the same stupid popping flask animation now this this can be kind of annoying i guess but if you're a tomb raider main you can't really complain that rhymed you're gonna end up having to sit here and build up. This is still one of the big issues that I have with Tomb Raider is that he takes so long to get ready compared to the other classes, which makes him a lot less viable. You know what I'm saying? 
Okay, so this is just this is ultra here, by the way. Why did my alt not trigger? There you go. And I mean, I guess that's pretty good, honestly. Um, I'm not even using the right emblems. Let me use arcane here. Little babies take like no damage. They're still outliving it. And Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah, that's not bad, huh? That's pretty good. Okay, uh, where's one of the... Wh what the heck is that new ally called? Uh, Old Wobbles. Oh, and apparently two guys. Uh, the patch notes did mention that as well. I didn't even know, but the allies that you can end up getting out of the uh, pressure caches or whatever, the Delves cache, I keep calling them. The allies that you can get out of those, oddly enough, there's actually a tradable version and non-tradable version. So, I mean, that's awesome. Like, Game of Go's been doing a fantastic job with that. Trying never did anything like that. That's why Trove became so much less accessible, was because they kept making everything untradeable in an online MMO. Like, are you kidding me? Oh, also Vial of Unleashed Power. Though really good, I don't need to be using that one. Um, I guess I'll just probably be using Death Defying, honestly speaking. There's not really any reason to use anything else. Just because gotta have that survivability right let's throw down a portal here and let's test it out we're also at just barely 35 kpr so let's find out what difficulty we're gonna be in hopefully it's not u11 but even if it is that's the perfect test u9 what dude they must have scaled down maybe it's because i'm just technically it's showing me as those stats because it's not having the right stuff huh well anyways um we also have this banner as well. It's not a very good one. It just gives us an extra hundred light. It's not one of the better ones. But yeah, that's kind of weird. I, I guess because we're just shy of the game menu considering us to be 35 KPR. Um, that, it, it, you know, we, we'd probably be at like a higher difficulty. Or they nerfed it. Maybe. Maybe they just nerfed it. Where the heck is my food? There, that's all I was looking for was that delicious cave milk. All right, we got any of these guys generating with anything negative? I don't know. Well, I guess I should also show the staff uh, stats that I'm using too. I mean, that's, I mean, we're just mopping the floor with them, but honestly speaking, we're talking about U9 here. Like I could mop the floor with pretty much any character, honestly. <laughs> uh, but anyways, the st uh, stats we're rocking, we're rocking a full set of crystal three. Uh, and then obviously, you know, crit damage where we can crit hit on the staff itself with the energy regen and then movement speed for the later stats. Uh, here's the other thing too that's really interesting, by the way, guys. So they've been upping the stats that you get for Crystal 4. Oddly enough, the devs have not given me a full set of Crystal 4 yet. I don't, like, I feel bad messaging them over and over again, but I guess they've just been busy with stuff. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to message one of my other contacts to get all the stuff. Because I want to show you guys all the Crystal 4. I mean, that's what all the hype's about. Man, alive, these minions kick ass. Like, look at that. Jesus. But anyways, uh, the Crystal 4 staff used to be pretty crummy stats. Now, you can see, this is pretty crazy. It's only got three stars, so there's two whole stars left. And every stat is better than in my fully maxed out Crystal 3, except for the magic damage, which obviously the magic damage will go up quite a bit. But that light value makes a huge difference. The energy region, crit hit, and crit damage, eh, not so much. But still, that's insane, dude. Even if we look at, like, the face and hat, you can kind of see the different numbers a little bit better. So, uh, you know, the movement speed goes down a bit. Max health, the face, I don't... Yeah, it's actually 800 less uh, magic damage. But the crazy thing is that the light value, even at zero, is already the same as Crystal 3. That's that's insane, dude. Anyways, I guess I should be making a run for it because for some dumb reason, they ended up changing. Uh, you know, they made this a lot more difficult, right? Uh, activate four monoliths. Oh, okay. So I don't need to fight all these enemies anyways. It's too bad that we're not in like a higher tier, honestly speaking, because that's not really gonna be the best example. However, this guy, I mean, no, it's not it's not a good enough example. Like I can't I can't properly say anything about this just because of the uh, stats that we're rocking here, you know? Okay, where is I need I need a mount here, I'm sorry guys. There's that new stupid mount. Oh god, I don't even know what it's called. It's like the dumb butterfly that you can end up buying. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Anyways. Um, 
So yeah, I mean, that's kind of unfortunate. I guess I could be fighting like a stronger Shadow Tower enemy just so that we could see like how many millions of damage we're doing. Uh, after we do this also, we'll hop into U10 to see how viable he is. Uh, most of all, like what I want to see is how many minions, what do you, like, what do you got to, what's a guy got to do to end up actually causing damage as the Tomb Raider? Because if he can kill things like i'm noticing like our minions are pretty darn strong and this is supposed to be u9 difficulty a bad example considering the stats that we've got but still uh you know that just goes to show how much stronger the class is and our little babies are and everything like that just because the you know it, it's just crazy like i want to see how much quicker we can end up actually farming with him because tomb raider can end up doing pretty decent for his movement speed not great, but just, you know, decent. Uh, and if we keep on... Where? There we go. And if we keep on... Like, if we don't have to even bother summoning our alt to complete dungeons, then Tomb Raider could be very, very viable uh, even for just normal farming, which I know you Tomb Raider mains out there represent in the comments, you guys. I know there's quite a few of you. I, I, I don't blame you. I think the Tomb Raider is badass, dude. Like, the character itself is awesome in concept. It's just the execution is a little disgusting. Activate the remaining monoliths. Whoopsie daisy, did I miss one? Yeah, I did right in this stupid room. Because it's hidden over here and I'm not paying attention because I am a YouTuber. And that's what we do best. Not pay attention to things. You ever notice that when you're watching, like, a YouTuber and it's like, Oh, what are you doing? Your group has progressed to the... What? That's kind of weird. So I could touch the boss room and then it counts as the whole group has gotten to the boss. Weird. Come on, boys. Come on. I mean, at least the timer we've got here is a lot better. You know, you're not really going to be able to make make the, you know, the full group of creatures. What the heck? What just happened? Is that boss ability? Jesus. Yeah, that's not bad. It's obviously not, like, as good as Draco, uh, but it's it's getting there. That's the important thing. Like, that was not awful. It wasn't awful. That's that's a good thing, guys. Like, I, I know that that's, like, a very... <laughs> it's not really the nicest way to put it, but... You guys know that this is actually a pretty big deal. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's hop into a five-star. Let's do it. Obviously, he's not going to end up being as fast as some other characters. Why in the heck? Minus 6% incoming damage. What, successful attacks return health. Oh, because I wanted like all the lifesteal and junk like that. Yeah, there's, there's probably a bunch of weird stuff you could end up doing with this character now, but it doesn't matter. Let's check it out. Also, you like that I'm rocking this costume? It's actually one of my favorite for the Tomb Raider. I think it was made by B. Yellow, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Aha! All right, let's see how much damage do we just do ourselves to this creature? That's actually not too bad. And our little babies got summoned like right. This is actually, ooh, ooh, me like, ooh, ooh. Oh, you guys. Oh my gosh. Because, because obviously, guys, with delves, I'm a little bit inexperienced. Because obviously, I haven't had years of experience with. Jesus Christ. Okay, this is epic. The best way that I can gauge how much change that they've actually made to this character is by doing the one thing that I do the most, which would be going through Shadow Towers, but now we get to just cheat at the boss, which isn't the best example, and farming. Farming, farming, farming. This is actually insane, guys. I can't believe how much stronger this character is. Like this is nuts. Okay, what's my what's my movement speed right now? Uh, my movement speed, I never know where it is. I'm not used to the UI. Even after all this freaking time, 120. There. Or I have 80 if I'm just on my own. Okay. Well, you know what we're gonna do? Let's see here. Uh, I don't have pyro disc. Dang it. If I had pyro disc, we could really test it out. I think that this guy could actually be very viable. We don't need arcane because these guys are a joke. Um. And we need the prefix penguin, actually, because when you kill enemies, you gain a movement speed buff. Let's see what we can do here. I, I also actually, movement speed, movement speed. I don't have movement speed on my staff. Let me just change that real quick here. Because that could, whew, whew, 
This is exciting, man. It's giving me chills. Like, Tomb Raider has not been viable since the plague. <laughs> Get it? Because that's what he is. Like a tomb. Yeah. Okay. I don't need that extra crit hit. I'm in 92%, whatever, good enough. But we got movement speed, so I'll take it. So what's our base movement speed now? It should be considerably higher. Uh, our base movement speed is at 99. So if we don't have a good knight subclass ability, we are doing higher than mount movement speed, which is great. God damn, he can just solo it. He doesn't even need his little babies, dude. And then when we pop a flask and we tag enemies, we got 149 movement speed. Woo! I mean, it doesn't visually make that... Oh my god, it lasts a long time. It doesn't visually make that much of a difference over being on a mount, but that's not bad, dude. Like, he's not... Uh, obviously, guys, it's not going to end up being the fastest character in the entire game or anything like that. As soon as we get our babies, it's just game over. Like, soloing is eh, not really the best, but as soon as you get your babies, my god, Tomb Raider is going to be a force to be reckoned with, dude. That is awesome. Good job, game ago. Put a golf clap emoji in uh, in the comments, guys. Unless you can only do that during live chat. But that's insane, dude. Tomb Raider mains rejoice. I mean, he still needs a little bit more work for my for my taste. You know, like obviously, if we want to have him uh, be just as viable as all the other characters at the end game, like he's getting there. Uh, the biggest thing that maybe what I would like to see I, I know that the devs probably won't do it because they're thinking how OP that could be I would like to see your souls maybe generate a little bit faster because I'm not liking how slowly okay never mind it does generate a lot faster than I thought yeah because I just remembered guys I haven't played Tomb Raider in years give me a break I just remembered you generate more souls when you're actually doing damage yeah, so we can get our minions, like, pumped up when we're... Oh, my God, you can play so aggressive with this guy. This is great. Not really the... Uh, again, I can't give the best example of this because I can't go to a higher delve to see because I, I, my biggest experience with how difficult delves are is in U11. Actually, you know what? Let me... Here. Oh, God. Okay, crash, whatever. Let's... Uh, let me hop into the hub and see... Uh, oh, it did it for me. Uh, I wanted to, to do that on purpose. What the? Oh God, that's right. So they're changing the chaos chests uh, so that these are pretty much just all the chaos chests that I normally would log in and get. But when the Delves update comes out, you have to complete dungeons in order to get that. And by having patron, you're essentially going to get double the amount of chaos chests, which is pretty cool, honestly. Uh, you know, kind of a good incentive to go and grind and stuff. Uh, they also changed it. So then in the top left, we got this the sigils blocking it we got this little timer underneath our xp bar showing that we're queued up for the delves so if you start going out into the world and start doing like normal adventuring and crap like that you know that you're actually still queued up which is a nice little touch for sure but anyways if you guys would actually like ready up instead of this i'd love to see if we can get to u11 if we can't whatever uh, you know, I'll have to try something out with Joe, I guess, but he's not on right now because as I'm recording this, it's like really, really, it's like six in the morning, my time. But anyways, that's really cool. Let me see if I can get in a group. Two hours later. <laughs> I hate to bait you guys, but it's just not happening. Like this is what sucks about the delves that I hope they iron out before it goes on the live server. I mean, obviously we're on the test server, so not as many people are going to get into it, but it's pretty crazy how bad it is to try and get into a public delve versus like a private one, which I mean, obviously why wouldn't you want to just go into a private one? I was trying to get in with a group so that I could hopefully end up seeing a higher difficulty, but honestly speaking, it would probably scale it down just because the amount of people uh, that are going to be lower end PR, but that's awesome, dude. The changes that they've made are significant to the tomb raiser uh, i still would like to see him upped a little bit like he's he's almost there he's almost as good as the top tier classes in the game as of right now he's already like a top tier character now you can actually like you can use the tomb raiser he's viable that's awesome but for my money he needs just a just just a little bit it's kind of the, it's kind of the same as well i was gonna say it's kind of the same as the shadow hunter but shadow hunter is pretty low tier just because of the fact that uh he just needs to have higher damage and his ult sucks but anyways 
thanks for watching gamers really appreciate it hope you guys enjoyed today's video if they make any more changes to the tomb raider that are significant obviously we'll end up talking about it more than likely we'll only talk about the tomb raiders rework again uh when it comes to the live server but as of right now i mean this is great I i'm really really excited for this just because the classes to me are the most important aspect of trove even the delves whether you know it's hit or miss like i see i see you guys in the comments lots of you guys are saying you don't even care about it uh, i think that the delves can end up being something special if they end up making it cool but the biggest problem that i think everybody has with the delves is aesthetically it's just a bunch of random generated block rooms and not to mention the fact that it's rooms in general versus being out and in the world and being able to see the sky. There's just something that it does to your brain when you're in a enclosed space in a video game as opposed to being able to see the skybox and stuff. I think so anyways. Let me know what you guys think. But what do you guys think about these Tomb Raider changes? I'll answer that for you. You think it's awesome. I seriously think they should dedicate more resources to rebalancing all the characters and then I think a lot of older players would end up flooding back in uh, even more so than just a content update but that said I mean obviously a content update is welcome but it's cool that they're sneaking this in there thanks for watching smash like sub for more buy the merch you want to support the channel please god no you don't have to I know I know what it's like guys <laughs> with with all the virus stuff anyways sign or and stay up gamers we won't get into any of that